Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vanilla Coast in City Skylines, where we are going to continue to fill this out today in hopes that uh, um, we can fill it in with industrial and such, but we're having a mass exodus right now, and I don't know why, um, which is causing the need for housing. Um, even though we were fine for housing up until a short while ago. Um, which confuses me. Anyways, there's some areas in which are not zoned, of which I could zone real quick with housing. We're going to try to fix this so that the new area is more just the test bed. Because we really do need... Um, we really do need the, uh, most of that area to be one thing or another, so. Uh, high density all along here. We'll do the same thing on this side. Hopefully this, um... Residential demand goes down. And like I said, I don't know what quite caused the exodus. So, um, because our crime rate's not bad, or it shouldn't be bad at least. Um, yeah, let's let's go through some of the details. Um, crime rate's at 6, which is kind of what it's always at. Um, noise. This area makes a lot of noise, but it's protected. You know what we can do to also increase? Uh, let's upgrade some roads to, uh, this treed one. I know that's going to get rid of a lot of parking. But it will make some people just a little bit happier. Um, wow, that's a lot of parking that's getting rid of. Which might be a good thing because it means that cars are less... V Why is there like just a big chunk of uh, residential cutout right there? That's weird. Okay, you guys come back in. Please. Correctly. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will inspire more people to use... Oh, dear goodness. That was this. That cannot be upgraded. Um, because, yeah, we have other stuff on it. <laughs> Uh, but not on this one, so we can have these upgraded. Make some people happy. I don't want to upgrade it too much into the high density. Because they kind of need the parking. <laughs> There's a lot of people in that area, so. But in terms of the suburb-esque suburb areas... I don't think it should be as much of an issue, and it might actually inspire more mass transits. So, just like that. Uh, let's turn this on max. Um, so, like, out here... They're not using a lot of parking anyways. And yeah, it's down that street too. So a couple treed parks or treed streets. Um, primarily just in the center of these residential areas, kind of thing. Um, it's making a couple people happy. Not a ton of them, though. Because the point is, is the happier they are, 
it means that they might have been lacking. Not able to upgrade because um, not enough pleasantries around, so. The fact that it is making some people happy is a good thing. Uh, let's get up here. Oh, that's right. This is that one. So, just like that. And that one, too. Okay, that's that entire city area parked. Uh, let's head up here. Um... Yeah, let's ensure make this a tree road because I think that is smart. Um, because there's a lot of noise right there, so that would actually be a good idea to have that uh, treed. It's making some people happy, which is probably a good thing. It means that they'll max out a little bit easier. We're still losing a ton of people per week. Um, our population has changed 20k almost. That is a lot of freaking people. And I don't know why. Um, education. Our education's good now. Our education's awesome now. Hmm. Is it because our education is awesome? Because I do have a theory that a utopian society would actually have fewer people. Much more educated people, but fewer people because of that. Most everything's uh, made by robots and whatnot. Um, and what people do for a living is actually just art. They are, uh, artisans, so. And all that art is exported. So. Oop, mistook the parks as it being, uh, Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's done. Let's get up here. Be careful of the tram. I know there's some around here. There it is. So let's get out there. Through here. Um, that didn't really make too many people happy. <laughs> Couple people here and there, but... Ah, those people. There we go. Those are the ones we're looking for. Um, all along here, because we can't do it really anywhere else. Um, we even have empty industrial slots. Um, and we're still losing like 300 people per... Per day. What is going on? Or not per day, per... Per week. What is... Like, all of our industry is dying for people. Maybe it's because we improved the, uh... Education? It has to be. All of our... our all of our industry is dying. All of them need more workers. Um, which makes me think that we just need areas with uneducated workers. Which is weird, though, because don't... Yeah, we... that. Yeah, that we just need areas with uneducated workers. But that would be weird. Um, 
It's like, it's fine if you're overeducated, right? Why? Oh, gosh. I don't know. We have so many people leaving. I just don't know. Um. This tree, this park is having <laughs> issues with crime. Um. Great clean city. Outdoors. My domestic AI is behaving badly today. What does that mean? Um. No one's picking up the dead. What? Uh, medical. We have amazing coverage. What are you talking about? Um, we'll put one of these over here because it kind of needs it. Um, we have amazing coverage. What are you talking about? No one's around to pick up the dead. I guess we'll put one in the middle here because that's kind of needed. Yeah, we have amazing coverage. Um, other than right here, apparently. Um, what's your problem? Citizens are sick. Um, it seems to happen a lot down here. So I'm thinking that down here might not have the best medical coverage. So let's drop a, a uh, thing right there. Over here has no excuse. The hospital is just like right across the street. Um, the Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid is that why? Is it because a tsunami hit recently that people are leaving? Because nothing happened of it. Like, that is a massive tsunami. And look, it's not even going to reach the city. By the way, do we have another zone we can buy? No. We're maxed out. Um. Yes, I know. It's... Continue going fast. It's, it's going to be a little flooded for a moment, but it's going to be fine. Like, does it even hit the airport? Does it even hit the airport? No, it doesn't. Right? It might get around to the back, maybe? No, it, it's, it's, no, it died before it did. What about over here? Yeah, no, this, this is all dying before, long before. So yeah. That's not it, because I think, I think it's because the education. We need some ed uneducated workers. Hmm. Well. Huh. Well, where should we put them then? Just like, throw some high density in here and let, they're not going to like their life. But they're not going to be educated. The tsunami has struck the um. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until. Water <laughs> Disaster city. What? Get out of here. Ugh. Okay, so I was hoping to build up that one area, but apparently, we need just a crap ton of housing because. Um, I'm just throwing these down because, you know what, um, apparently we need uneducated workers. So I'm putting housing right around where all of the, uh, 
Ooh, this would be weird. Might be cool at the same time, but it's going to be a little weird. Um, but apparently we just need a crap ton of uneducated workers. So you know what? I'm plopping down houses so that the industries can uh, get their need of uneducated workers. So. Um... You know what? You're going to live by the power plant. Not much I can do about it. You complained? Or my city's complaining about not having enough places... Not having enough workers, so... You know what? We're going to change that around. Um... Cause yeah, look at how many abandoned there are. It's like, seriously. We lo like I said, we lost 20,000 people. And I don't know why. They just got educated and stopped having children or something. Speak of which, what is the birth rate? Just, yeah, population. 5% um, unemployed. Um, we have a lot of seniors. We're getting a lot of seniors. Uh, that might be why. Um, technically, our workforce is quite heavily hampered at the moment. Yeah, we're having a lot more deaths per week than births. That's what it is. We had some sort of baby boom. And now we're seeing the tail end of that. So that just people are dying. So that's what it is. Okay, lovely. Way to interrupt the season. We were trying to do stuff here. Then you had to go and die on us. Thanks. Such an hole. Yes, I muted. Nope, well, actually, I didn't mute myself. I actually didn't speak right there, but... <laughs> Um, quick way to get out of the Octostry. Um, and with people, they're going to need some, some places to shop so that it doesn't become too, too busy. So let's just throw down a couple little places here and there. Well, not little, but just not a lot of them. Do you connect through? You don't. I'm going to put these up here. And then make a path through. That way they can get to it. Um, do you have health coverage? You do not. So let's put one of these say up here will that reach around no well kinda um we'll poop oh and they need water does it really just get out of range right there there. No reason to complain. See, none of the people over here are complaining about it. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of people coming in now. So. Uh, we'll put some over here. Do we not have medical over here? We have medical over here. Why are you sick? Is it overburdened? No. It, <laughs> it could send out more ambulances if it wanted to. Just chooses not to. Okay. 
And over here, we are going to need some commercial as well. Just right there to satisfy the need for for these from these people. I do have, oh, I don't have medical up here. Okay, well, that's something that's needed. Um, there we go. Now you guys have medical. Um, yeah, so that should work. Also, this will kind of fill out the need for low uh uneducated workers as well because these house these houses should be primarily uneducated uh well they're well educated so but still not terribly bad what are you still going on oh my gosh um Oh my gosh, there's so many dead people. They're all dying, all at once. It's counteracting the people moving in. That's how many people are dying. Um, which is gonna make people move out. <laughs> which is then gonna make people move back in. Which is gonna cause this baby boom influx. Um... I don't know what to do other than let it run. Holy cow, you need some assistance with taking care of dead people. Like, are you guys overwhelmed? Yes. Yes, you are. That's how many dead people there are. All of the crematoriums, well, other than that one. That one has one more van it could send out, but all of the crematoriums are pretty much overwhelmed. That is crazy. I'm going to put an extra one right there and right there to try to help. Because that's insane. Oh my goodness. So many dead people in here too. Um, I'm going to put one on this side to try to help. And same over here. Um, this already has three that service it, and it can't keep up, right? Seven of seven, seven of seven, seven of seven. Yeah, there are so many dead people going on right now, Um, including down here. Um, You're not terribly well covered down here, so maybe have another one down there. Okay, so hopefully that will help. Our population is regrowing. How many do you have? You have four yourself. Just for your little city sector, and you're having difficulties. Let's look at that healthcare again. Or population, was it? Okay, the deaths have gone down and births have gone up. But and our adults have gone up, but still, the, holy cow! Um, these places are getting filled out slowly, but they are. Um, Policia? Yeah, the I don't know how to get police down that road. Like, they won't go to the center. They just won't. <laughs> Like, even though that's a one way to go in, if I anything placed before it still won't go into it. So. Um, I don't know how it gets serviced in general. Uh, sick people. Yep, all of the people moving in is what a lot of this traffic is. Uh, same should be said with the Octastry. Uh, that we should be having, well, at least a lot of people moving out. Um, right there could use a highway upgrade. 
as a uh, um you people sh no that's why that's there although I'm thinking I should put it somewhere up here but with this I'm not so sure about that um and I don't want to the roundabouts to get overloaded because if I take these out the roundabouts will get overloaded um, it seems to be doing a lot better, though. Uh, just needed a little bit of space right there. And now the people moving into down here is becoming a little hectic. Not bad, though, since there's no light right there, thankfully. What? Our citizens are sick. Yes. We, we have people... We we have medical going around. the The poop is hitting the fan. I repeat, the poop is hitting the fan. Um, it looks like we take we've taken care of all of the dead people. Um, citizens are sick. Yes. Um, there's actually an ambulance right there. So. Um, I think old people get sick a little bit more often. So. That's what our real problem is, is that all the ambulances are taken for them. Which makes it so that um, the younger citizens are the ones that get sick are having issues too. Because not enough ambulances and so it takes quite some time to get to them. Um, they do have a medical, right? Yeah. Or no? No, they don't, actually. Um, they need a medical somewhere. It says they're covered. Oh no, there it is. Um, zero of eight ambulances in use, yet you have people just down the street that are sick. Um, I'm calling malarkey on that. You know what? Right here can be zoned for something. Although it looks like we're doing okay for housing at the moment. <laughs> we just have three ambulances lined up to go into this one building? Or are you going to this one? Um... No, he went somewhere else. Uh, but here's another one for this building. Um, I'm thinking it's going to take a moment for all of the sick people to not be sick. But I think I'm going to end it there and let it run for a little while to try to balance all this out. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, as it does help the channel. And do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to a Patreon in the description down below, as well as a Twitch and Twitter, that if you follow that, you'll be updated and, and or notified when I live stream, so that you guys can catch that when I do it. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Goodbye.